responsibilities go to you guys? What, what's kind of the attitude or pressure going into the, the season without Gavin? Well, uh, you know, uh, when Gavin went down, uh, me and Cody kind of took it in our hands to uh, kind of take over the duties while Gavin's gone. And uh, I feel like we work together hand in hand and uh, we take care of each other. And uh, I feel like so far uh, we work together as a unit and going into this weekend, I think me and Cody are pretty confident with what we're doing. So. Uh, without a doubt, you know, obviously Gavin being a preseason first team All-American, you know, that's a huge responsibility to feel. But me, both me and Josh, we both have the ability to do so. We both have uh, worked with Gavin the entire fall, entire spring so far. And we are fully confident in our abilities to get it done behind the plate without him present. Is this where playing so many scrimmage games like you do fall and spring comes in handy because you've had a chance to see every pitcher you could see this weekend if you're out there behind the plate? Yes, sir. Um, that honestly is probably one of the best things about the inner squads because we do have so many pitchers. I think we have maybe a little bit more pitchers than we do position players at the moment. And, you know, it's kind of hard to see everybody with bullpens and class schedules and everything. So the fact that we do play that many games, it's huge for us to be able to, you know, come within tune with our pitchers. And uh, kind of like what Cody said, I mean, uh, being able to work with each guy, it helps us in preparation for the season. And when they get their innings, you know, it also helps us because we, you know, we have to see the ball as much as them. But uh, I feel like those guys are uh, very confident in what we both can do, um, no matter who's back there. And uh, so we're just going to serve them and we'll see what happens. For you, Josh, this will be your first time on a stage like this. Just what are your thoughts about playing opening day? Um, you know, the biggest thing is uh, just try to not do more than you, you can do. You know, uh, just try to be yourself. Uh, just try to uh, just stay within yourself. Um, not do more than you can do. Uh, as far as the preparation, you know, uh, you don't want to get too caught up in the hype. You uh, just just play behind your guys, serve your pitcher, and it'll work out well. Cody, you were in his shoes a year ago. How much advice have you given him about that first uh, time out there on the field? Well, you know, we, we've talked about it a little bit here and there, and obviously going in tomorrow, me and him will have a little bit more one-on-one -on -one time to talk about it because we do work hand-in-hand -hand together, obviously both being catchers. But um, – you know, he's very level-headed. He knows exactly what he's in for. You know, he's prepared just as much as we have. He's done everything that we have. The only thing lacking is the fact that he hasn't been here for a year. And I don't think there's going to be any issue with him stepping behind that plate. Josh, very quickly, I think you had a jaw injury last year. How much did you get to play behind the plate with that injury? Um, you know, it, it hindered me. Uh, I had surgery on a Tuesday, and uh, I think I was out for a week and a half. And uh, I got the go-ahead to step back out there and uh, – Obviously, it was a little different. Um, you know, your, your jaw's still fractured. Um, but I felt like it was my duty to serve my team, and, uh, you know, that's, that's what I want to do here at anything, any cost. Um, I, Cody helps me with everything that I do, and uh, I feel like that kind of goes in hand with what kind of happened with me last year. Uh, just, just keep fighting with what you're doing and uh, keep working on your ability and helping your team out. Cody, the fact that you have been out there before and you've seen what it's like, you, everybody could say the dimensions are the same, but until you've caught a pitch here in a, this kind of crowded stadium, it's hard to describe. So is it helping that getting the younger guys ready for what they're going to see this weekend? Well, you know, without a doubt. I mean, obviously, you've never really experienced anything like Duty Noble before, regardless of where you play, regardless of what college, what conference. I mean, the SEC at Duty Noble is something completely different. I mean, we hold the top ten records or the top ten crowds in, you don't get that anywhere else. I mean, it's kind of amazing. So stepping into it, it's kind of a you know, big deal. You kind of have to step back and go, you know, whoa, you know, it's actually here. But I think, I think everybody's ready for it. Everybody's mentally prepared, especially Josh. You know, we go through that every day.